So now that we have our first track, which is a kick drum gain staged, the next one is obviously the bass guitar. Just going to solo that one out, pressing control and double click, it actually brings up the fader into 0 dB. So we're just going to make sure that we are only listening to the, um, the kick drum. Let's mute all of it. By the way, if you're wondering how I have different tracks into different um, uh, widths, you can control that by, by pressing it here. You can see they go bigger. So if I minimize the insert panel, they become smaller as well. So now that we've got the bass guitar, let's uh, have a quick listen and see what the bass guitar track sounds like. And then it's the same principle. We're going to make sure that it's minus 18 dB on our master uh, channel level metering. Okay, we're getting minus 19. Hmm, it's not even 17, but that needs to be controlled. But I guess the average needs to be a bit higher than that so our compressor can compressor can bring it down. Let's open our first channel strip. And let's apply our filtering first. See what our gain staging will end up being. I have previously EQ'd all of these uh, instruments, so that's my EQ curve that I want for my bass guitar. To, I'm just enhancing about 114 hertz there, and giving some of the high ends to feel the thing. So what are we getting? Minus 20, minus 13 now. So we definitely need to reduce the gain because we are definitely adding some gain here. I'm using additive um, EQing rather than uh, reducive or reductive. Okay, so we've done um, first gain staging level. My second channel strip is obviously a compression that I use. I tend to use EQ first shape my sound and then compress the shaped and filtered sound for better con compression. Now there's one thing different with this compressor, I'm using sidechain because what I want to do is I want to get my kick drum having a sidechain send to my bass guitar compression. This way what I want to do is I want the compression to come on only when the kick drum is kicking in. But we'll demonstrate that a bit later on. I'm going to adjust this later on uh, once we have our uh, sidechain enabled as well. But uh, to start with, let's have a still adjust making sure that uh, we're not increasing. Let's remove sidechain first. Good. Now that we've got that, we let's enable the sidechain so that compression comes on only when our kick, the, uh, kick drum comes in. That way we will have better kick drum being heard. So every time the kick is coming on, our bass guitar is being lowered by the sidechain compression. You know, you can actually hear it and feel the kick drum coming in. So the bass guitar is not overriding or overpowering the kick drum. Um, in the times where there's no kick, the bass guitar will be the same level minus 18 uh, dB peak as we gain staging. So let's have a quick listen to both of them without the sidechain. Now, what we're going to find out that minus 18 dB 
plus minus 18 dB, those two levels um, of sound, of audio signal, will add up. And let's find out what that level is going to be when we find out here. And um, I can tell you, it won't be surprising. Okay, we have 15.4 dB. Now that's 3 dB increase as we added the two signals. So I hope that makes sense. That's why, as you can see, even though we had both tracks set at minus 18 dB for peak, but when we played them together, now we added 3 dB into the signal as we add them together. So the same thing will happen when we add our vocal track and the rest of the instrument, you know, that will increase every time 3 dB. But when we enable our side chain, oops, for, for our bass guitar, that means our kick will control the channel uh, strip compression of the bass guitar and we, we are actually trying to reduce it and we will adjust it, the side chain send over here to adjust this level so that we get reduction of minus 6 dB every time the kick comes in so that our level should pretty much stay about minus 18 dB when both the kick drum and the bass guitar is playing at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that at the moment. Okay, so that's giving us about minus uh, 17, minus 18 dB now as we are playing both instruments together. So that pretty much uh, gets us uh, the two tracks that we wanted to do, the kick drum and the bass guitar um, into the gain staging. Now the same principle applies to our vocals, so you can go ahead and adjust your vocal levels into minus 18 dB peak and what you will find out that you know when you play all of them together at the faders at 0 dB it should sound a, a complete song is what I mean ain't no sunshine when she's gone oops I forgot to actually It's not warm when she's away. 